That's fabulous. Welcome to my spectacular <laughs> DIY, G. So my social media feed right now is filled mm -hmm. with um, Taylor Swift, but also <laughs> Halloween DIY projects. So I thought I'd test the popular Ooh. ones so you guys don't have to. I'll let you know which projects are easy, which ones you could possibly skip that aren't worth your time. So are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, so one of the things that I kept seeing were these little dolls so easy to do. I suggest doing this because it's super easy. All you have to do is take any one of a kid's doll and put, I got this at the dollar store, that little baby pumpkin. Put a little pumpkin, rubber band it to their hands. Here's a yeah. doll for you, G. While That's I talk about the rest of the items, you can try to make her a ghost. Okay. And you put them on your porch and it's so super cute. You use this little felt paper with, it's already uh -huh. sticky on the back, cut little eyes and a face. And I brought a crib sheet for okay. you. It's just super easy, a little crib sheet uh -huh. that you can throw over her. This is a bath towel. Super easy, 10 out of 10 recommend. Let's see if G can okay. do it while Let's I tell see. you about a couple of the other things. Okay. Another thing I saw was people taking little skeletons and again, these are from the dollar store and you have to cut them and glue them to make it look like they're kind of holding the bowl. I couldn't do it. I couldn't make the gluing happen. I couldn't, <laughs> it was too hard. So my husband's like, why don't you just tie a rope around? Easy, I did tape on the bottom, tied a rope around, easy peasy. And then I thought with the bigger one, I don't want to cut it and ruin him. So I just sat the bowl on him. And oh. honestly, that was so much easier than gluing and getting out the glue gun and doing yeah. it. Just put the bowl on him. Then you don't ruin your bowl and you can continue on and with life. Glue guns can be dangerous because it gets too hot. <laughs> well, with me they are because I'm terrible at all. Anything hot, I'm terrible at. Okay, so the next thing is these um, mummy jars. You can put candle tea lights in them and light them up. We decided, my son did one out of gauze and I did one using streamers. And uh -huh. I gotta tell you, the streamer one, not as cool. The gauze one, definitely cool. So I would recommend that one. Both though, you just throw some googly eyes on, you use tape, you don't even need glue. Super easy. Again, this is a good one. Uh -huh. Are you ready for the stuff that wasn't so easy? Oh, wow. Okay. okay. So I saw these really cute pumpkins made out of yarn okay. online. I'm like, I'm gonna buy the yarn, I'm gonna make it. You're supposed to take a balloon, uh -huh. hang it up, and just put put the, the yarn in glue. Have a glue mixture with um, water, and then you just simply tie the yarn around the blue, glue or the balloon and wait for it to dry. Oh, it's like paper mache. This is what mine looks like. Oh wow! You guys. Okay, little little be a little to be desired there. Um, not You're quite. supposed to like pop the balloon afterwards. I can't even pop the balloon because it's. I I do not recommend this one. Maybe you'd be better at it than me, G. What but was I, that, what was it gonna be? So it was supposed to be a really cute pumpkin made oh. out of yarn, and it doesn't okay. look like anything. My yeah. kids use the yarn though to make cool little pom poms. So you can make pom poms instead with the yarn that you were supposed to use for that. Okay. I did decide to stick with the glue though and do another project using the glue, and it's these cheesecloth ghosts. Messy, yes. Those are You're darling. gonna get messy, but it was easy to do. You just take a vase and any kind of ball and wrap it in saran wrap, and then you place the ghost on top, let it dry overnight. This one already dried. You can see it stands up all by itself. And again, just the felt eyeballs, easy. That was a good one. You'll get a little messy, but it's very easy. Okay. Another 10 out of 10 recommend. So all you have to do, you guys, <gasps> is put little spiders in your soap dish. Can you see them in there? You can put a finger in your soap dish. Just wash it before you put it in the soap so you don't defeat the purpose of the soap. But the that is so easy. That's just like a, hey, I'm here for the spirit. I didn't try very hard, but it looks like I kind of did. The finger is terrifying. Absolutely. <laughs> I thought that was a real finger and it's, I was scared. It's not a real finger, but yes. Gee, how you doing over there? I think good. Oh, is that scary you enough? Know? She looks good. And then you have to put the hand out. Okay. To make it look like she's a little trick-or-treater. And then you can put her out on your front porch. Oh, great. She looks, yeah, those are well, interesting choice I mean, eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I mean, interesting choice, but you know. Okay, so the last thing, you guys, while G's setting up her pumpkins, this is the tomato cage ghost going all over social media right now. This is my daughter's bed sheet. Again, the eyes with the felt that you just stick right on. Look up under here. It's a $5 tomato cage mm. from Home Depot. Wow. Easy, easy. On top is a um, styrofoam ball. So I'm gonna take it down really quick just to show you. It's just a styrofoam ball uh -huh. that you stick right on top of there. Do you see that? You're a genius. Jam it on, throw the sheet over, mm -hmm. game over, you're done. 
so easy. I didn't even take the plastic off the styrofoam ball because why? No one's gonna see it anyway. So that was the easy one too. So I love it. I feel like we have a good, oh, you found the candy. Yeah, so good. I love all these ideas. This is yeah. fabulous. So just, now you know what to try. If you can do this one, send me your picture. <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't do it. Yeah, the, that yeah. one was a hard one. I'm um, so proud of you. Thank you. Next week, uh -huh. you're gonna like it even better. I'm gonna test out a bunch of Halloween-themed Jello shots. Mm. 